Hey everyone, this is Louis 7 and I am back on Louis and the Warden and the first time in a while actually. So now Mordor has come out and uh I don't know, I feel like well I need to make the Louis Den videos, but it's actually fun and I do enjoy it, so that's not a big deal. But anyway, I just felt like I needed to come back and play a low level character too and enjoy something else that's lower level once again. But anyway, this episode is a bit different because once again I'm changing my recording settings. I think it should be uh, maybe even a lot better this time. I'm actually not too sure. Oh yeah, I went to Oscar. That's right. And I think I ended there. I might have traveled afterwards or something. But I ended up in Oscar and I need to, I guess, get these quests and turn in whatever I have here. I wonder if I should do that before I get any more quests. Oh well, I'll just pick these up, I don't care. Alright, so that is a few quests from him. I feel like there would be more quests around this area, and it does look like there are. Right, so... Oh, this is a turn-in. <laughs> so I was about to... I just naturally click stuff like that, but time it worked. Okay, so yes, I do want the potions because there's nothing else more useful. And these are better than what I have, I think. Yes. Oh yeah, I also have this bundle from the Mordor pre-order. So I will suppose I'll use that. See, the earring is another thing that gives me XP, and I don't want that. But I'd like the stats of the earring, kind of like the cloak. So I will go ahead and not use that. I didn't need to. I'll just destroy that. I have it on a bunch of other characters. Don't need Essence Reclamation Scrolls, of course, yet. Can go ahead and learn these kites. Don't... Well, if I don't have anything else to use, I guess I can use the kites. Let me let me see what I got exactly out of that. Uh, what is the hotkey for that? Alt M, Control M. No? Shift C. <laughs> right, so I actually like this kite, I think. Uh, but I do not want to be just flying it around, so I will put that up. It's a little bit annoying when I'm just flying it around like that. I do need to turn my graphics up because I had them a little bit low. Alright, so I think that's everything. I do have the cosmetics. I could go ahead and open those, but I like the cosmetic I have and for now at least want to keep it. Anyway, to actually get back to what I need to be doing is getting these quests here. Got a lot of high level quests, which makes sense because I'm in the high level region and I do have to go back and do some lower level quests first. Okay, more quests over here. I like this one. You get a bunch of quests. It's always fun, at least to me. These ones are actually more on my level, level 26. I feel like I'm going to be like level 35 by the time I leave Lombland, just because of my progress now, even though I'm not really too overleveled, which I, I thought I was, but then I discovered I really wasn't. I could still be a little bit. I, I do want to check what this rep guy has. Already in use? Must be lagging. So I just need rep to get these. I don't know what my rep is with them. This actually, this starts a quest. It's a tailor quest. Did not know that. I do want to set my milestone here too. I feel like I'm just running so fast because I was on my runekeeper a lot lately and he, this guy has the 38% movement speed from Force March. So I just feel like really fast. I think I got every quest. I wasn't paying too much attention. But I don't think I saw anything else on the map. I can run around on my map real quick just to make sure. Because I saw a few things, yeah. I got those few things in there that... I needed. Okay, so 
I do... Okay, I need to find those. Okay. Let's see what I got. I'll take, ignore all the high level ones especially. I want to do these... Yes, the dwarf quests I believe. That is correct. So I want to find... Well, I'll go ahead and just head there and see what else I guess is in there and the quest should auto pop up. Uh, but while I am heading there, I can try and see if I find any others. So dwarves, yes. So that's Amon Ross. I don't need Amon Ross, I need Ior Vanus. It looks like. And so this quest is there. This is not. This is. And I think that will be it. I'm not sure where this quest is. What's that? Offering of Peace. This was the... So that's Worg and Boars. And of course I can do, if I see mobs I need, I can kill them along the way. Like this Worg. So I'm actually not too sure which game it's I have. Apparently I don't have 3131, but I do have... 3232, three, two. I know I have that one. I believe this is still my strongest gambit. Should just be able to run through and the dot will kill him. This one I will put one more dot on to be safe. Yeah, the other one died. I think I have to go through the instance here. And that's where all my quests will be. Do I need these? Okay. Some stuff just out on the landscape can be hard to find and it'll take a while before you finish it. So I want to make sure, like, none of the mobs, like the lynxes, I know can be a bit scarce. Okay, so I should, I think, yeah, just head down. No. I need to head over here, okay. Got myself a bit lost there because I turned the wrong way and couldn't find this, but... Yeah, I do think everything I need is in here. I don't remember actually ever doing these quests, so... Should be fun. So far, just based on this part, it's not bad, so that's good. And I do not have whatever the fifth game in that chain is. Get a heal. Do I have Brink of Victory? No. I think I have the 1, 2, 3, that dot. So do I need to collect anything? An antique vase? That sounds like something to collect. But it is a scholar item. So I already got dwarf pickaxes and I haven't picked up anything so those are from killing. I do need to defeat Durhan Dwarf somewhere. So I'll have to go until at least I find those. Javelin this guy. Maybe get it. I do have those heals. Okay. I was trying to think because I knew I had some gambits. Let's see. Slow way to build it, but yes, I have these. Don't know if I want to drop, but it's fine. I believe I can just keep going down here, so shouldn't really matter that I dropped. It's been a long time since I've even been able to play Lotro 2 with school, so this is actually pretty fun. And I think I'll just drop here. Oh, there's a signature. Go ahead and use a health potion. And I don't have these gambits I'm trying to use. Probably uh, use some more heals. And I do want to make sure I keep the dot from Surety of Death up. To eventually kill them. Even if I try to spend my other time focusing on healing. But... This is good. I thought there were other mobs chasing me. It was 
basically the big deal about that. Don't seem to have gotten anything from him. I guess that's okay. I don't mind killing a signature for nothing. Alright, another signature, and he just appears to be a regular dwarf again. The thing is, I, it wouldn't seem strange to me if these weren't named mobs, but they're named mobs and they have pretty much nothing to do with them, it seems like. Although he, you know, one of those might have been a quest item, but... Or start a quest item, rather. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Get back on track with my gambits. And then heal. Well, he's gonna die from the dots anyway. I really need to heal here, but first I will be a bit adventurous and do all that first. Wonder, I don't have any more out taps yet, do I, AoE? Oh, I do have Fierce Resolve. That changes everything. Actually, I need to use a Power Potion here. I know I have a bunch of those, because I never do have to use them. Fierce Resolve isn't the strongest, but compared to what I have, it's an AoE morale tap. And I am stunned, and a really bad time for me to get stunned. That should finish off most of them. I'm still taking a lot of damage here. Okay, I got the heal off. That's the important thing. Restoration's a big heal. Not sure, am I just progressing through here? Oh, I need to collect the dwarf banner. Ah, uh, here's a door. I need the dwarf banner though. See, I thought I was like progressing through here for something, but so this also looks like it leads straight back up. And then there's a door there. Interesting. Don't know where the banner is. I want to go through the store to see what's on the other side. And if I can get back in, hopefully. Oh. Hopefully I get to go back out here. The banner is not here according to the quest. Okay, so I could be in here. That would actually be my guess. Okay, should just be able to run through and be safe enough. If I pull anything extra, I do have AoE. So this is where I'd expect the banner to be. But it does not appear to be here. So... Guess I just need to go searching around for a banner. And it says a dwarf banner. Instead of like the dwarf banner. Antique base. So that's higher up. I don't think I've been way around here yet. Let's see what's over here. There's a door again. Check out this door. This looks like a Numenos. No. Garthagar, not a Numenos. Just the, that was the loading screen. Alright then.
I wonder if one of those bosses had like a chance to drop a banner. Let me read the quest. The ruins. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't really help me much. It just basically says search, I think. I have my, uh... Kill these orcs. So he has nothing with him. And he has nothing with him. So this is where the signatures were actually, so that makes sense if just based on the layout of this. But I don't need these signatures, I need... Right. I'm actually interested in how much this character can handle. So I will try this and I have one signature on me. Okay, it's not looking like it's going to go too well. Let me focus let me focus on damage while I can. I think that's my best option. Just kill them before they kill me. Oh, he healed. He's not going by my strategy. That one gives good loot though. He dropped like at least two yellows each time, I think. Still no banner. Could even be at the entrance. I didn't think about that up here. Door up there. I have not been. Okay. Don't think this leads anywhere. Don't even think you can go much anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to go in the middle here. And see if there's a banner up there. No, not here. Actually, this... That's really weird. Okay, I'll keep going through here and check this area one more time. Because I'm, I'm not sure if I thoroughly checked it before. I really need to do something about the guys attacking me, though. Ooh, I need a, I need a heal. Don't have a heal. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Wasn't paying quite enough attention to my health there. There we go. Okay. So, banner. And no banner still. Okay, so back to the entrance I'll go. Refer. So I think he's the guy I turn into. The, so, okay, this says the ruins. Yeah, that says the ruins, but it said, okay. I think I do need to go to the ruins for this quest. Let me turn in these three, though, while I'm up this way. To get these turned in to see if they give me any more quests to actually go to the ruins. Well, these are kind of ruins. They're just underground. I don't know. Because it, well, the name of it's a different, yeah, and this is, okay. Good that I came here to turn these in, and then I can go straight to the exit and do these new quests. I actually have a quest I remember the name of Angar Iron Guy. I think that's the name of the orc, if I'm remembering correctly. Dwarf Interrupted and Orc Interrupted. Like the name of those quests. 
Actually, these are probably both the signatures down here, just would be my guess. Not him. He is, yes, he's the orc. Once again, I'm trying to use a game that I don't have. Oh, he didn't get hit with anything. So now I need this dwarf. I think I'll go ahead and do turn-ins real quick again just because it is right here. Uh, after this dwarf spawns, if he wants to spawn. Keep checking for a banner just in case. Oops. If he wants to spawn, at least. Alright, so I want to see... Power attack does 48 damage every 4 seconds, not too much. Precise blow already does almost more. Compared to surety of death at 107, okay. I just wanted to check how strong it was relative to the other stuff. I think surety of death also has my strongest up front damage. Especially since it applies the dot at the same time. So it's really an increased 100 from that. Okay, so... Thought I was done there. But more orcs decided to attack. Okay. I think I'll just run for it. I have no idea what I'm using there. I meant to bring up my morale tap just in case I did pull, pull more. I could at least be getting some healing off of them. I am watching my health. Okay, I'll use the potion. Because this time if I die, I would respawn way outside. First dwarf. He did not give me a new quest. I could just do not do dwar dwarves, well but I would rather. I actually have muster in Oscaroth now. But I do want to go out there and see if I can get it. And that will probably be it for this episode once I do that. I feel like it's good timing and I think it's good to have an episode be pretty, uh, can't really think of the word, but it is what it is and not, there's just not a lot of different things going on and me like half starting something and half finishing another thing and doing like one area in one episode. So I need to, there's a supply crate. I feel like that'd just be a chest. I need to search for a banner here. And I have no idea where. It doesn't have it on the quest map. I believe this is the name of the place, the ruins that it mentioned in the quest. It said, no, it says ruins of Thandobel. And on, what? A nun moss? I am at that. Okay. Of, th I'm not at Thandobel. Is this Thandobel down here? This is... Hmm. Should probably kill this door. I actually... I just assumed that was the name of this when I saw that it said a different name than the... Tunnels I was at, I think, or... Don't know if Tunnels the best name for those, but... Hmm. 
Okay, so lay a ruin. Okay. Orcs. Well, these are dwarves, not orcs. I I don't know if I will be. Where does a quest tracker have that? Oh, so that has that in a totally different area? Okay. Well, totally ish. So I will head there on my way back to Oscarath, which I... Oh, this is... Interesting. Okay. Nordorf banner here, is there? Okay, since there's a big group of these and it's like perfect, I wanna kill them. There's really no actual reason to use Fierce Resolve here, I don't think. But it's just fun to get a morale tap in. And if they resist this, I mean, it does get to do a little bit of work, I suppose. And I get to loot this chest by doing this. And he's just standing there, that signature. I don't know, sometimes I feel like mobs and games are very blind. Like, maybe he did see me and he just acted like if he'd keep walking normally, I wouldn't see him. I don't know. Oh yeah, he decided to attack me anyway. I got near him. I mean, I was running to attack him, so smart of him, but even if I wasn't. Trying to get as many dots on him as possible. And this is a interesting place, but... Oh, I do not like the new elf models. I need to remember to not look at my character. And I'm going to fall. And I live. That's good. Okay, so these, I think, are the ruins I needed. And I need a dwarf. There's one. A lot more simple. I was paying attention to the wrong quest, I think, earlier. On the mini-map. And I didn't fully read it when I read that it was in the area south. And all that stuff, but there we go. So I'm going to... Yeah, this is the same guy I'm turning it into, though. That mu I think that's the part that made me... Also, just with all the other stuff. Uh, not being in the right place, I guess. So, should be able to turn into him. He doesn't... There's the ring. And I have another quest. Okay, I think I will do these quests later. And end this for now, because I am actually running out of time anyway. So hope you all enjoyed, and I should be getting back to doing more of these. Hopefully, at least I'd like to. I know I've been really busy lately, so if it keeps like that, maybe not quite, but... I'd still like to do more, and hopefully it will be back to normal now. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.